Hey, I'm Ken, Leanne ain't here, but this journey's with Ken Leanne, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of update on my workshop, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm standing in the workshop right now, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the workshop. So the electrician came in, he's almost done here. You can see right in back of me, we put the uh, box in right here. Uh, this box will have quite a few uh, uh, circuits in it because I've got a lot of equipment that's going in here. So come on over here, I want to show you something now that's in the restroom. All right, so what's right here, you're gonna see it right here. I can't go any farther back, I'm sorry, or it'll start blurring out because it's dark in here. But right up here, uh, you'll see the tankless water heater that I bought for the shop. It's a little bit bigger than normal because we're gonna have a shower over here uh, that's outside and that'll be for if we ever get a pool. Um, the problem with having such a large tankless water heater is that it's an 18,000 BTU water heater. And if my mini split AC, which I'll show you in a second, comes on at the same time that I'm doing the water, hot water, I may trip the circuit up at the house. So that may be an issue. I may have to downsize this uh, sooner or later. So let me take you over and let me show you where the uh, mini split's gonna be. All right, so here I am in front of the wall where the mini split's gonna go. It's gonna go right up here. You can see we got all the uh, copper tubing and everything set right here. Uh, the part that goes outside is right in this box, and the part that goes on the wall is right down here in this box. Uh, this will go up in the wall right here. Uh, you can see right here, it already goes through the wall, and I'll show you that stuff right now. All right, so right here is uh, there's gonna be a concrete pad and this will be right where my uh, air, air compressor plugs in. This is on the back of the shop. And then right here is where you'll have the unit for the AC mini split right here. And you can see we got a box right there. Let's head on back in. Well, it's starting to get dark, but I wanna show you guys all the plugs that I have in here right now. And you know, no matter how many plugs you put in your workshop, it's never enough. There's going to be a uh, bench that goes right here. Uh, this will be where I do all my resin casting and such. There's a computer hookup right here. There's a power outlet there and a power outlet right there. Right over here is where the light switch is going to be and also the garage opener will be mounted right there. Right over here is where all the wires come in and the internet is connected to. Also have, that's going to be a GFI right there because right here, will be a sink and I've already got the top for it and I may change out the sink that I have on the top but it'll have a bench right there with the sink that drops in it. I just want to show you where they had to come in with the power um, and they they originally were going to come in over here but they ran the wires and everything to this side uh, because I don't know why but this is where they come up at okay so uh, the wires come in right here they come up over all in conduit and then come back down in conduit into this right here this box is pretty big but i have a lot of circuits that i'm gonna have to have because of all my work all my uh equipment you'll see up top here you see the orange ones those are for the 220 i have a total of four 220s because there's one down here and it's gonna go down another one's gonna go there and there. Actually, I guess it'd be five if you're counting the mini split. So right now, that's what they have. Uh, so they still have to uh, finish running the wires and then everything should be uh, golden there and they should be able to start putting insulation in. Right here is where the grinding uh, stand is gonna be with my grinder on it. And that'll be for my lathe tools. This is the 220 switch right here where my lathe is gonna be hooked up at. Back here in the corner, as you can see, it is getting pretty dark in here. Night is coming. Uh, you're gonna have right here will be a dust collector and that'll be for the lathe. And then I'll have a bench right in back here with drawers and stuff like that that I gotta make. And I put uh, two plugs on top over there. As I said before, that's where the mini split's gonna go. And then right next to it, this is where I was gonna put the bandsaw, but I got a new bandsaw so it will not go there. Uh, what will go right there is the jointer. Right over here, I will have a camera right there. That's the cord for the camera. And it'll go right there to watch the Gatton CNC. That'll go right here uh, once we get that installed. Right here, you saw this in the middle of my shop. Over there, 
right there. Uh, and that is for the dust collector, as we talked about. And that's where the dust collector is going to be. Now, there's a piece of drywall that they put in here to, to keep it from getting rained on. And there's a whole bunch of plugs all the way along this wall, which will have my planer right here. My bandsaw is actually going to go right there. Um, I got an oscillating uh, sander that's going to go over there. My drum sander is going to go right over there. So we have plenty of uh, plenty of room over here. You'll notice that I have boxes. I have two boxes there, three boxes all the way down. And that is because I have, see if you can see it right here, I have 11 of those ultra bright LED lights I got from Costco and I have them in my workshop now and they work great. So they will all be put in here up top there. My attic access is over here and I had them put it right here so I would have plenty of room to store stuff up on the top. Although it's not meant for storage, I can store stuff on there as long as I don't do too much. And I had them put lights up in the attic also. These lights right here, these old barn lights, I refurbished and got new energy for it. And this is what I have on the garage, uh, my workshop, and then inside the workshop in the bathroom, they'll always be there. But I also have, <laughs> look at that mess over there, I clean that up. I have one right over my door right here too. Matter of fact, this is where the shower is gonna be for the outside. They will put a concrete uh, pad right here and it'll have a uh, a drain that sunlights down there. What sunlight means is it just goes out and dumps out of the ground over there. It's just going to be water. You don't want to hook something like that up to your septic tank because it'll fill your septic tank up if you got a if you got a drain right there. So is where the security camera is going to go. You'll be able to look over that area and over here, and the camera at the house. On the corner, we'll get the rest, but a spotlight will be up there too. As for the outside, they still need to fix the metal work right here and finish the roof. They haven't put on the cap over there, and then they will finish up all the metal like they did on the garage today. All right, you'll also notice that uh, I talked about it in my last video, but I've got one window on the front. The door on the side that you just saw We'll also have a window on it. It does not right now. They didn't have it in stock, but they do have that door right there will get replaced. And then right here and here, those are security windows. I wanted some light coming in, but they're way up high and they're too small and they do not open. So somebody cannot break into my shop from the back. Okay, finally, you probably saw this in the other part of the video as I was going by. This is the insulation. They're getting ready to insulate this shop and I've decided to go with OSB. They've got the quarter inch OSB and we're gonna use that and I'm gonna have them screw it up so if I need to, I can take it down off the walls to run uh, an air system that I'm thinking about putting in or any other kind of wiring that I wanna put in. Now the roof, I will have them shoot in because I don't have any need to take that down. Okay, one thing I had, did not think about, and that was the wires going through here. Um, I'm gonna be drilling into these walls and hanging things and putting stuff everywhere. Maybe it would behoove me to get the metal plates that go on here that you can pop on with a hammer. Um, I've counted them out, I'm gonna need 40 of them. They're $1.43 each, so I may go ahead and do that and come out here tomorrow before they start insulating and put those up. Uh, I could ask the electrician to do it, but that'd be a lot more expensive and we're trying to save a little bit of money. So I think I might try that. Okay, there you go. That is the idea for the shop. Um, as you see, I've got a lot of ideas of where I'm gonna put my stuff. Uh, hopefully I have enough plugs. I know that you never have enough plugs, but I hope that's enough. Um, Tell me what you think about some of the ideas I said in here about maybe getting the plates or, or other things that, that we're going to do. Or if there's a best practice that you did in your shop, let us know down below in the comments. We'll get right with you and see if we can hammer some stuff out. Things that I'd be able to do quickly or even after they put the sheathing up. That would be great. All right. If it's your first time here, head on down and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button. Hit the thumbs up button and share the video. 
Also, if you'd like to head on over to our Instagram and our Facebook page and go ahead and hit us up over there and follow us there. We do a lot of posting during the week on things we're doing, uh, the build and how it's coming along. And you may see some extra stuff that you don't see here on this channel. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoy the journey. So I come out here. That's their air hose. They have a leak in it. And it's just going. Oh my God, that's so funny.